Welcome to the Perform Workflow video series. This video will explain the step-by-step -step process to create a model for a worst-case discharge scenario in an offshore well. After the Deepwater Horizon incident in the Gulf of Mexico, the U.S. government has tightened restrictions on offshore operators and made it more difficult for operators to obtain offshore drilling permits. One of the new requirements to obtain an offshore drilling permit is to submit a worst-case discharge or WCD nodal analysis model. This model should predict the flow rate from the well if a worst case blowout occurs and should properly account for the conditions present in a blowout. In addition, operators are required to submit reports outlining the correlations and assumptions used in the model along with any other relevant information. In response to this, IHS has created a new report that satisfies the new BOE MRE requirements. We have also established some helpful guidelines for modeling WCD scenarios. To demonstrate these, we will be using one of the examples provided with PERFORM. First, click File, then Open, and then navigate to the directory where PERFORM is installed. Open the file named Worst Case Discharge, and then click on the Easy Interface button on the top toolbar. In this example, we have an offshore well that will be producing from a single layer and our goal will be to model a worst-case discharge scenario for this well. First, let's take a look at the basic setup for this example. Click on the setup icon on the top toolbar and notice that this is a system or nodal analysis of an offshore oil well. We leave the node at the bottom hole position which is typical of a system analysis. Also notice that the downhole network box is unchecked which tells us this well isn't a multi-layered or multi-lateral well although PERFORM can easily model WCD scenarios for either of these. Click Next and we'll take a look at the fluid properties and correlations. The well produces a medium weight oil of 30 degrees API with a 30 percent water cut and a GOR of 1000 SCF per barrel, all of which are fairly typical for a well in the Gulf of Mexico. If we click on the PVT correlations tab, you'll notice that we're using the Petrosky PVT correlations whenever possible. This set of PVT correlations was specifically developed for use in the Gulf of Mexico and is the ideal choice for WCD modeling in the Gulf. We can also enter PVT lab data to tune our correlation selections, but this step is optional, especially considering we usually don't have lab data on wells before we drill them. Next up, we'll take a look at the reservoir properties. These determine the deliverability of the reservoir, which is often the most important component of a WCD model. PERFORM has a wide variety of reservoir models covering almost every possible reservoir type. Vertical, horizontal, fractured, and unconventional wells can all be modeled easily. Typically, when modeling WCD scenarios, we select one of the more common reservoir models, such as Darcy or Jones, to minimize uncertainty in reservoir geometry or other parameters. In this example, we use the Darcy model and assume our permeability is about 100 millidarcies. We have a reservoir pressure of about 4400 psi and reservoir temperature is about 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Click Next. On the completion data screen, we select how to model pressure losses across the completion. In PERFORM, all of the data entered on this screen serves one purpose, to dictate the magnitude of the pressure loss across the perforations. Usually, in WCD scenarios, we leave the completion type as open hole or not calculated. This is because any completion model will reduce our flow rate and our goal is to get a worst case model. Click Next and we will come to the pressure temperature calculation control screen. This screen allows us to control how PERFORM models heat transfer, which is often essential in deep offshore wells. PERFORM has a variety of heat transfer modeling options, including several industry standard correlations. For this case, we're going to keep things a little bit simpler and assume a linear temperature gradient. Clicking Next takes us to the wellbore data screen. This is where we establish the geometry of the wellbore and enter casing and tubing profiles. We also select the correlation used to predict the pressure loss in the wellbore. In WCD scenarios, we often select well-known industry correlations such as Hagedorn and Brown. However, in very high rate WCD scenarios, the mathematics behind these correlations break down and it is often necessary to use newer mechanistic correlations instead. Also, we will assign the wellhead pressure here. For WCD scenarios, we usually set this number equal to the hydrostatic pressure of the C column at the depth of the wellhead. 
This ensures an appropriate back pressure for the reservoir to produce against. The last step in our data entry process is to set up any sensitivity analyses to see the effect of changing virtually any parameter in the model. We can examine parameters that affect reservoir deliverability, tubing and wellbore deliverability, or both. In this case, we will run a sensitivity analysis on the reservoir permeability, as that is often one of the most uncertain parameters in the entire model. Finally, we can run our calculation and examine the relevant reports. Click the Calculate button and then open the worst case discharge report. This report has been developed by IHS based on new guidelines from the BOE MRE and outlines all of the relevant data used to build the model. As we scroll down, we see all of our input parameters, correlation selections, and other data used to build the model. We also see the details of our solution points for each selected sensitivity, which gives us our final worst case discharge flow rate estimate. Operators will submit this report along with volumetric, environmental, and other data to the BOE MRE along with their drilling permit application. This video briefly demonstrated how PERFORM can help you create models for worst case discharge scenarios. With a wide variety of inflow and outflow models, PERFORM can model nearly any WCD scenario. To see workflows of how PERFORM can help you to solve other common production optimization problems, watch the rest of the video series.